Hello everyone and welcome to episode 18 of Prothero's Journey. We are on our way back to Skingrad. We just closed a Hellspawn gate. Um, we are, let's see, it is 9.54 a.m. Um, we are feeling very tired. It took us a long time to get through that gate. Uh, we'll be taking a very, very, uh, we'll be taking a, a definitely a good rest after this. Uh, and uh, eating some good food. Uh, but, yeah, so, I mean, I, I'm not going to say it went well, but it went. We made it through. Uh, I'm not sure how fucked up we are. Yeah, we seem to be okay. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's even go ahead and uh, take off our, our kit. We really don't need it right now. Um, even the hood. Actually, let's check out and see what the sig sigil stone is, because we might enchant. Resist fire. Let's make that necklace. A resist fire necklace. Uh, yeah, we'll call it fire warning. Put that sucker on. Now we've got uh, a little bit of protection from, from fire, so that's a good. Anything you can get, really, uh, against, well, in this game is a plus. Um, as you can tell from our last gate, once you start Good leveling you. up quite a bit, the gates get a bit uncanny to deal with. We're only... We're only level 12, guys, and that last gate, I mean, we must have fought 35 demons. So, it is what it is. Now that Mage's Guild. Look at the muscles on you! Over here! Oh. Yes! I don't have time for, for anything weird. I'm imagining things. I need to go to bed. Well met. Morning. Good to see you. What's new with you? Where is Ursula? I saw some mud crabs seen him by the water. Yep. All right, let's take a, a good, like, eight hours of rest. We can't talk here. Too public. Meet me behind the great chapel at midnight. Don't let anyone follow you. I'll make it worth your while. Who was talking to me? <laughs> like, like, I know it was Glarther because of the quest, but where is he? What, is he outside of the room? Like, did he glitch that submersion breaking? And I apologize. It's kind of out of our control, guys. Honestly. Um... That was very weird interruption to our sleep. We're going to go back to bed because, um, quite frankly, we feel like we've hallucinated a lot. We're going to spend the whole day just sitting around the Mage's Guild, just kind of relaxing, eating, um, you know, taking it easy. Because we just, I mean, we've been through a lot. We've traveled a lot. We need some time off our feet. I know if you guys run a lot, or walk a lot or anything, but, uh, you know, you have to take some time off for your feet, or, uh, you'll wish you did, anyway. You wake up full of energy and ideas, and you know somehow the that overnight everything has changed, what a difference a day makes. Wow. Okay, well, what time is it? Okay, well, with that being said, we're ready, actually ready to get on with our lives. Uh, we rested for like a day and a half, almost two days. Good afternoon. Um, Hello. I'll yeah. buy sweet rolls from Hello. Salmo the Baker Hello. any day. Once, I was carrying a sweet roll when three thugs attacked me. So, I took the sweet roll. Hello. Salmo's Lord baking here is, is acting even stranger and than usual, rolls? don't you oh, think? Um, unbeatable. You. I don't Hi. Think so. I trust you have a good reason for interrupting me. 
on a recommendation? I'm afraid I haven't given it much thought. I'm rather busy, you understand. My research occupies nearly all of my time. Now that I think about it, I do have a small problem concerning Erthor. He's one of the guild mages here. Think you can do something about it? Well, um, I've heard some mention of this from other people. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll help. Excellent. I just don't have the time to search for him again, but I do need to consult him about some notes he borrowed. You might want to ask around and see if anyone can be of some help. Let me know when he's back, and you'll have your recommendation. Okay. Is it me or is it when he gets back, Earth hey. I hear you got quite a task from Adriana. I did. It's about Earthworth. A nice enough guy, I suppose, but there was that awful scamp incident last year. That's when Adriana told him he needed to practice somewhere else. Somewhere uh. else. Meaning somewhere far away. Where? So he settled down in Bleak Flat's ah. cave, did all his work there, and came back to town twice a week to check in. Hasn't been around lately, though. Bleak Flat's cave. Oh dear. I just can't seem to remember where that is. What a shame. Uh, yeah, what a shame. I need to help if you need uh, With those oblivion. You. What? Who are you? Ah, who cares? I'm Druya. You want something? Or are you just practicing your Cyrodiilic? Everybody's kind of being hateful to me. Uh, Bleak Flats Cave? Do you know where the where it is? It's just northwest of Skingrad. Here, see it on the map? That's where Erthor wound up after Adrian told him he couldn't practice in the Guild Hall anymore. She probably doesn't even remember that. You might want to make sure she remembers, especially the part about it being her idea. Okay. Good well, luck finding her. Hi there. There's definitely some They're cattiness some going on. Murdered the emperor and are opening the obliv Definitely some cattiness going on. Um, do we have anything worth a damn? Yeah, we do. We have a few things to sell. A coin for an old bag. Uh, all things alchemical. Uh. I mean, I guess we have stuff to sell there. We'll, we'll go check it out. I know we have a, a few items here. Hello. Not so loud, please. What a headache I've got. Oh, my bad. I'm Agnet the Smith. The pickled, they call me. Sure wish I was pickled right now. My lady. Hold on. That's a good, good point. Let's get pickled. We deserve it. Uh, we just closed that Oblivion Gate. Let's go for it. Hey. All right, Agnes. Go ahead, please. Let's uh, let's talk. Real go quick. ahead. I accept. I doubt it. Good. Don't waste your flatter. That's pretty good. Don't, please. I doubt. What not? Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. That's just the thing. I didn't mean to do that. Yes. No. I. D sure. I. Didn't Don't mean waste. to give you money, I doubt but it. I mean, whatever. It was just Don't, a little bit. I, no more. I, no more. Don't try to manip. What non? I, good yep. one. You see, Agnet, Agnet, and uh, Prothero get along very well because they are uh, incredibly Armor, bad weapons, alcoholics. I... So that's uh, a bit of a bonding factor, at least. Damn. That's a good deal. For you. That seems a fair... Yep. We bond, Agnet and Prothero. A fine... Uh, two fellow drunks. Um, had a little chat about alcohol and how great it is. Sold some stuff. Come back and see me again. Yep. Take care, Agnet. Bye. Goodbye. Um, do we have alchemical... Yeah, we got alchemy stuff. We can sell some potions. Hello. Me? I'm Falanu. House Lalu. As if that matters here. Okay, yeah. Uh, definitely a Morrowind. They would. Uh, so. Daedra cults. What do you know about those? 
What makes you think I'd know anything about that? But it just so happens I've run into some sanguine worshippers up in the Imperial Reserve, a long way north northwest of Skingrad. Can't give you any better directions, unfortunately. Traveled mostly at night with a guide and didn't see much on the way. Hmm. Okay, well, I kind of guessed because you're from Morrowind, obviously, and, uh, you know, the Daedra there, they just kind of look at it as. Yes. Regular. Great! Not now. Oh, it's please. a regular practice. It's not really frowned upon Don't at all. I salute you most. What? Such an event. Don't. But I guess that's why she took to offense. Is that so? I it. salute you most impressed. Not now. Not what? I, is that so? Yeah, Gracious, you want to sell that's us not your bad. stuff? May I you interest you in some it? of my fine wares? Let's see. Sea stride, yep. That's more than I. Now! Yeah, we can do better than that. Oh yeah, we got stuff to sell. That's quite a bit of money, actually. We're kind of making money off alchemy already, without even doing a single potion. We have made several hundred, you know, gold. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um. Wow. All right. Yep. Tell your friends about me. Definitely was worth coming in here. Thank you. Thank you. We I'm also you. learned or heard at least a rumor about the location of a Daedric shrine. No, we're not doing that. Um, we're gonna do this, actually. And, uh, also we're gonna go find this, this Earther character, uh, who is missing from the How guild. Goes it? Uh, Hi. seems like an easy thing, just go check out this cave and then come back and tell her that she, that he's dead. I mean, surely he is. And that's why he's not where they say he is. Hello. Seems pretty obvious. Except that we don't know where the hell we're going. Um, I mean, I thought I thought we did know where we were going. Remind Adrian. Okay, yeah, we need to go ask Adrian Hello. where the cave okay. is. Okay. You? Not bad. Yep. Do you think yep. What happened to the what happened to My bad, guys. Yep. We just ran right out there, like, ready to go look at that Daedric Shrine. We forgot all about asking where Bleak, Bleak Flat's cave well was. Done. Good afternoon. Hello. You're here about that recommendation, I presume. Yep. I'll need to speak with Earthor before I write it. Bleak Flat's cave ring a bell to you? Oh, I do remember telling him to go there. Mm. Well... We'll just have to do something about that, won't we? By we, I mean you, of course. I have something that may help. It's a basic fireball spell, in case you need to defend yourself. Okay. I'll be here when you get back. Good luck. That's kind of helpful, right? I wonder what weak fireball... I wonder how, how weak fireball is. Or if it's a good spell. Sometimes spells may be a little weaker just very little bit but they use way less magicka so let's see what five points five feet three seconds so that's 15 for 11 yeah that might be a little bit more up our alley for our skill level anyway so thank you thank you madam it's definitely worth do you do? doing. Hello, how do you do? Get out of my way, please. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. We're going to go find this fella. I believe it... Is it southwest we're headed? I guess so. 
Oh no, we're headed north, northwest. I believe they said that Danger Shrine was up here. Uh, the one that we need for, uh, you know, our main uh, focus right now, which is to get um, to get a Daedric artifact to sacrifice in order to, uh, well, for something for Martin, needs a Daedric artifact, so we have to find one and then give it away, which is kind of, a uh, kind of sucks. Hello. Look at the muscles on you. Oh, I appreciate that. Uh, yep. Yeah, we're headed the right way. Damn. Oh, hell. Yep. There's an oblivion gate, and it's, uh, right in the way. Uh, folks, I'm gonna clear this, and, uh, I'll be right back. All right, welcome back. We cleared the damn Hellspawn gate that was on our way to this cave. And uh, to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm glad that I'm glad that I didn't waste your guys' time with it. Um, not a whole lot happened there. Uh, we mostly ran away. Uh, Prothero's starting to realize that if you can outrun your enemy. Uh, and this is with Partho being as slow as he is. If you can just avoid the fight and defend and get away, then uh, you might as well. I know there's another one there, but it's pretty far out of town. We're, we're going to avoid it for now and take care of uh, this quest here. So let's see what's going on in here. That looks clear for, for now. I don't... Oh, that's an undead. I hear it. Take that. Yeah, take that. Range zombie. I didn't know there was any other. I didn't know there were any other kinds of zombies other than deranged zombies. So that's news. So bit of a little bit of a battle here. Um, I don't have much hope to find the guy alive. I mean, if that's at the front door, uh, I can really only imagine what waits us further within. You know how these things typically go. Like that. If you guys can hear it, but there are some creepy sound effects for those guys. Creepy as hell. Okay. No sign of him here. There's a chest, though. Okay, so... We don't have a lot of hope for this fella. Um, you see this shit in here, it's not good. Look at that thing.
Vile. Vile zombie. Ah! down the hordes of oblivion we will not fall to you no so damn finally this is finally a quest from the mages guild that prothero kind of feels like needed to be done i mean there's undead everywhere um not good Undead are very bad. Very, very bad. I hear one walking. I hear it. Yep. All I had to do was start sneaking and I knew I'd find it. Oh, shoot. killing machine right now zombies are tough if there was a zombie apocalypse with these zombies I don't think anybody in the world would stand a chance <laughs> actually coming in handy. Ugh, zombies really do not like fire. we can get to the uh, Arcane University at some point, if we can make it that long, it, I'm not sure we'll survive, <laughs> but uh, if we do, it, we're definitely making a, a custom healing spell, because you can make them so much better than this one. Oh, who are you? Well met, Earthworm. What? You were living here? They're all gone? I can leave the cave? Oh, thank you. I'm ever so grateful. You're heading back to Skingrad, aren't you? Could I maybe come with you? It'd be safer, I think. So, what do you say? What the hell were you doing here? Seriously. Alright. Follow me. Oh, thank you. You're just too kind. Yeah, come on. I'll be right behind you. I can't wait to be back in Skingrad, safe and sound. Oh man, you you lived in a cave. What, did these candles keep them out? I mean, how did you keep these motherfuckers from coming in there and killing you? That's the question I want. That's the serious, honest answer that I want. Oh, 
out of the kindness of their heart, they didn't go in there and just tear you apart, all these zombies. That's very fishy. I'm not afraid to say it. Alright, well we're going to head on back to uh, Skingrad with Earthor here. We'll catch up on the uh, next part. We'll be back at the guild and ready to ready to complete this quest. Hello everyone. We are back to Skingrad on our way to turn in uh, Earthor here who was stuck in a cave full of undead and didn't bother to explain it at all. Because he just, it just seems to be perfectly fine. Uh, so, yeah. That's all we know. We'll see if uh, she questions him further. To me, it's kind of... Wait, I just want to know what he was doing in there and how, the, how they all get there. Okay. Adrian! I'm back! I was rescued! So it would seem. You're unharmed, I presume? Well, my pride is a little wounded. Oh, spare me. You're lucky I bothered to send someone after you at all. In the future, would you please be more careful? <laughs> uh, well, yes. I'll just pack up my supplies and be on my way then. Thank you for sending someone to help me. Yeah, you. Where are you going to go this time, huh? Yes? What do you think of the Mages Guild? The services provided at the Arcane University are just priceless. You can create your own enchantments there. Oh, very good. Good to know. You too. Alright, so let's talk to this lady and wake her up again. Hey, I noticed you just fell back asleep. Good day. Yeah, good day. Um, <laughs> Earthor. He's, well, he's an interesting fellow. Salinus Vicinus can tell you more about him if you wish to know. Uh, Salinus should be around here somewhere. Talk to him if you'd like to know more about Earthor. No, I'd, I, uh, you know, the recommendation. I've spoken with Earthor, who seems to be all right. Good work. I'll see to it that your recommendation is sent in as soon as I have a free moment. As I've said, I'm rather busy. Mm. I'll get to it eventually, though, I assure you. Be seeing yeah. you. Go back to your busy, uh, busy life. And it is three in the morning. Wow. Are you still, is he still following us? I think he's I think he's still following us. Um What can I do for you? Yeah, nothing. You're good. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, so we're gonna rest. It's three o'clock in the morning. I'll take a little rest. Until about noon. All right. So we are ready to uh, kind of head out of Skingrad. I guess from here we still haven't found a Daedric Shrine. We heard a rumor northwest, something about northwest. But, uh, you know, other than that, we don't have anything to go off of. So, where's our next recommendation? At Anvil? Okay. That might be our... Is that actually, like, our last one? No, we got, we've got to go to Leowin as well. Okay. Well, fair enough. Good to see you. That's kind of on the way to where we're going. Um, well met. Yes, well, man. Uh, yep. So, I'm kind of thinking that, how do we look inventory-wise? We got repair hammers. 22, that's fine. 
Um, I'm kind of thinking that, for one, we haven't had a damn beer or anything to eat. So we're gonna, we just kind of, I'm gonna say we, we just kind of munched and drank uh, on the way to where we're going. Um, but we're gonna head out the road here uh, on down to Anvil and go ahead and grab that recommendation. I mean, I can see no reason uh, why not to. We don't, we're just kind of uh, hovering about actually. Uh, trying to find a Daedric artifact, but I mean, what are you gonna do? You're just gonna run around everywhere asking where, where it is. I mean, we've gotten rudimentary, uh, a little bit of instructions on where one might be, but it's probably in the whole ass other direction. Oh, she marked it for us. Well, I mean, it is marked on our map, so we may as well head that way. It is, she said it was northwest. So, okay, I, I wanted to make sure for story purposes that she actually told us where it was. So, <clears throat> yeah, I guess we'll just head that way. It's not that far at all. And this is some beautiful countryside, right? I mean, wow, it's almost unbelievable. There it is. Hopefully you people will accept me. Hopefully. What business do you have with Meridia, Lady of Infinite Energies? Well, hopefully, uh, she'll she'll uh, take me as a as an acolyte or something. I need I need help. The spark of life is within you, and you are welcome here at Meridia's shrine. It is possible she will speak to you under certain conditions. Hmm. Leave an offering at this shrine. Meridia demands tribute in the form of the remains of her enemies, the undead. Well. In that case, we watch and wait. In that case, I know exactly where to get uh, some undead. We just finished, uh, literally just finished killing a bunch of undead. Honestly, so we're gonna run back. Uh, we're gonna grab. Do we not have some? Maybe did we accidentally pick some up? Nope. So we're gonna run back and pick some up, and I'll be right back. So as it turned out. Guys, we went all the way, all the way back to Bleak Flat's cave, and uh, we didn't have the correct undead item. But you can see how important this is. I mean, there's gates every direction we look. Right there's one. Right there's one. I mean, we have to find this data guard effect. As much as we would like to just keep closing these gates, I mean. We can't really afford to just keep wasting time like that. Like, we need to find the artifacts. Uh, and so, so we can stop all the gates at once, ideally. Because that's the only way to really save everything is to get that damn amulet back. We're trying to keep our mind on that. But to do that, we got to we got to ignore some really fun stuff to explore. We'll probably go back and do Meridia's quest just because uh, I really like Meridia, but right now we're desperate to, to at least get a Daedra that we can talk to, maybe. Uh, so we'll see if this one will. You. We 
could use some pork chops, actually. I'm glad he happened along. We might get hungry out here. Uh, speaking of out here, yep, there it is, northeast. Just like the lady said. Well, this looks exa like exactly the kind of uh, Daedra that uh, Prothero would get along with. Um, drinking a mug of ale or something? All right, what's going on? Have you come to revel in the glory that is the Shrine of Sanguine? Yeah, hell yeah. It is a place of celebration for us. We dance, we make love. Would you speak with Sanguine? Yeah. Approach then, and bring Sanguine a gift. Some Cyrodiilic brandy is an appropriate gift for your host. What? He's a man after my own heart? He's a man after my own heart. Go we have two bottles of Cyrodiilic brandy, folks. Two. Two of them. Let's talk to him. Let's do it. Sanguine? <clears throat> I would like to, uh, talk to you. Ah, another mortal. Come to beg Sanguine to add a bit of spice to an otherwise drab existence. I would have you perform a service for me. The castle, Leowin, is a dull, dreary place. The mistress is an especially somber soul, and tomorrow she will hold another excruciating dinner party. I want you to liven it up. Use this spell on the countess and her guests. I think it will make the party much more interesting. You should probably try to be inconspicuous, or they might kill you. Oh, and the party is by invitation only. You'll have to find a way in. Have fun. Well, after I provided the offering to Sanguine, the Daedra Prince spoke to me. Sanguine believes that the Countess of Leowen is too stuffy and wants me to do something about it. She'll be hosting a dinner party tomorrow, and I am to sneak into the castle undetected and cast the spell of stark reality on her. Okay. Leowen, huh? That's only... a ridiculous distance from here. Okay, well, ladies and gents, it looks like we'll be uh, doing a little bit of traveling. Um, however, we're going to probably have to pick this up on the next episode. Uh, it is... Oh, enemies nearby, apparently. Um, because uh, it's getting late. I'm getting... Oh, what's going on? Oh shit! You'll never take me down. Die! Damn! Oh damn! Here's some bad news. Holy cow! Thing is relentless. Um, but anyway, yeah, we'll pick this up on the. Uh... Holy shit! We'll pick this up on the next episode. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, and we finally talked to Adidra, and we are damn determined to get this done, ladies and gents. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful night. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, and uh, I'll see you next time.